Donald Trump was elected the 47th President of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. The victory validates his bare-knuckle approach to politics. He attacked his Democratic rival, Kamala Harris, in deeply personal, often misogynistic and racist, terms as he pushed an apocalyptic picture of a country overrun by violent migrants. The coarse rhetoric, paired with an image of hypermasculinity, resonated with angry voters, particularly men, in a deeply polarized nation. As president, he's vowed to pursue an agenda centered on dramatically reshaping the federal government and retribution against his perceived enemies. No, I feel very confident. I have uh, felt, you know, we went in with a very big lead today. And it looks like uh, Republicans have shown up in force. So this election should be over. They spend all this money on machines. And frankly, if they'd use paper ballots, it would be over by 10 o'clock. And by the way, the paper ballots would cost 8%. It would be 8% of the cost. If they would use paper ballots, voter ID, uh, proof of citizenship, and one-day voting, it would all be over by 10 o'clock in the evening. It's crazy. Look, regrets, you always have regrets. I can't think of any, to be honest, to use her expression. I can't think of any. Um, I, I, look, I ran a great campaign. I think it was maybe the best of the three. Uh, we did great in the first one. We did much better in the second one, but something happened. And uh, this was the best, I would say this was the best campaign we ran. On the assumption I win, I mean, I don't know if uh, something else happens. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of declaring victory. But uh, if in normal times, I would go over to the convention center, let's say at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or something. But I just don't know. I don't have to tell them that. And they, I certainly don't want any violence, but I certainly don't have to tell. These are great people. These are people that believe in no violence. Unlike your question, you believe in violence. Donald Trump has won the battleground state of Georgia, the one-time Republican stronghold that had voted for Democrats four years ago. Along with his win in North Carolina, Trump has narrowed Kamala Harris's pathways to victory and expanded his routes to reaching the 270 electoral votes needed to become the next president. The victory left Harris heavily reliant on the Blue Wall of Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin to have a credible path to the White House.
on the five yard line, maybe even the one yard line. A second battleground state has now been called for Donald Trump. The AP says Donald Trump is the winner in Georgia, getting its 16 electoral votes. That comes after Trump was also declared the winner of North Carolina's 16 electoral votes. That sent the crowd that had gathered at a Kamala Harris party here in Washington fleeing for the exits. Now, her campaign chair came out and told people there are still too many races, too close to call, too many votes to count, and that the vice president would not appear. All those words eerily similar to one spoken at Hillary Clinton's 2016 party before she lost to Donald Trump. The Harris campaign says she will address the nation later. Donald Trump was set to address his supporters in Florida. Still a very long night ahead of us, but uh, for the folks here at the Sam Brown Watch.